Vanessa Kella is a well-known trumpeter, composer, flu gel harnessed and a bandleader who was born in Whitbank Town, South Africa. Growing up, Masakela was motivated and inspired by the music on the 78 RPM, gramophone records of Louis Armstrong, Bessie Smith, Ma Rainey, Jelly Roll Morton and others. Read on to learn more about his incredible life's journey. Bio. Hugh Ramapolo Masakela 4 April 1939 23 January 2018 was born in Kwaguka Township, Whitbank, South Africa. His father, Thomas Alina Masakela, was a sculptor and health inspector while his mother, Pauline Bowers Masakela, was a social worker. He was a trumpeter, flue gel harnessed, cornetist, composer and a singer, one who has been described as the father of South African jazz. His jazz compositions as well as his very popular anti-apartheid songs such as Soweto Blues and Bring Him Back. Home are some of the works he is famed for. In 1968, he reached a milestone in his career as his version of Grazing in the Grass reached number one on the US pop hit charts. As a child, he was practically raised by his grandmother, and it was with her that his musical talents developed. He started playing the piano at a young age and when he was 14, he saw a movie Young Man with a Horn in which Kirk Douglas plays a character modeled on American jazz cornetist Vic Spiderbicki, and it was this movie that inspired him to start blowing the trumpet. His very first trumpet was given to him by the anti-apartheid chaplain at St. Peter's Secondary School, Archbishop Trevor Huddleston. Through the influence of Huddleston, Massa Kella was able to master the trumpet under the tutelage of Uncle Sada, the leader of the then Johannesburg Native Municipal Brass Band. His schoolmates became interested in playing instruments after seeing how good Massa Kella had become. This then brought about the formation of South Africa's first youth orchestra, the Huddleston Jazz. Van Dotta's style of play was an embodiment of his experiences, the conflict, agony and the exploitation of South Africa in the 1950s and 1960. In 1956, Hugh Masakella joined the Alfred Herbert band that was known as the African Jazz Revenue. During the Manhattan Brothers tour to South Africa in 1958, Hugh ended up in the orchestra for the King Kong. The music was written by Todd Machikiza. The King Kong sets out Africa's first record-breaking blockbuster in the country that period. Hugh Masakela left South Africa at an age of 21 in 1960. This would mark his beginning of 30 years away from his country. Masakela left South Africa for New York, too. Manhattan where he began music classes with the help of John Madrigan, Harry Belafonte and Dizzy Gillespie. During this time, the golden era of jazz music was on top in the area and this is when Hugh started visiting the New York jazz scenes where he used to watch the likes of John Coltrane, Miles Davis, Max Roach and others who were all great in the jazz music. By 1980s, Hugh was already known in many parts of the world and had made many achievements and won many awards. In 1981, Hugh Masakella moved to Botswana where he founded the International School of Music, partnering with Dr. Kobin Goma. Masakella grew bigger in the jazz industry. Several years later, he released Jive Records. This record helped Hugh set up a mobile studio in Gavin. This is where he recorded the he techno bush techno bush launched masakella's first dance that became a hit called don't go lose it baby in 2004 hugh published his autobiography that he had co-authored with drive michael cheers known as still gazing the musical journey of hugh masakella dot wife and children in 1964 he got married to south african born music songstress and activist miriam Makiba, while they were recording together in a band in the United States of America. However, the pair got a divorce in 1966, barely two years after their marriage. Hugh subsequently married his second wife, Eleanor Kofi, in 1999, but divorced her in 
2013 after 10 years of marriage. He has also been linked to other women including Dot Chris Calloway daughter of Cab Calloway and Jaboom Baba. He has two children, Sal Masakela and Pula Twala. Sal Masakela, whose full name is Salima Mobina Masakela, is one of Hugh Masakela's sons. He was born on August 28, 1971. He is an American singer, actor, sports commentator, and television host. His mother is Haitian, and he has an older half brother, Nathan Gonzalez, who is a contestant on Survivor Cook Islands. He grew up in Staten Island, New York and Carlsbad, California and attended Carlsbad High School. In his teens, he learned to surf, snowboard and skateboard. As of youth, Sal toured the world with his jazz musician father, Hugh Masakella in this. Rubbed off on him as he started his own band Alekism. The band shares the same name with Sal's first movie which highlighted the relationship he shares with his father which is strengthened through music. He later went on to become an intern at Trans World Publications which is the home of TW Surf Magazines, TW Snow and TW Skateboarding. This was the period that shaped his career. He has worked as a reporter and host for a good number of shows and events including ESPN, Daily 10, The E! Network, NBC among others. He appeared as the host and executive producer of Vice World of Sports. From April 2016, Sal is the co-founder of Burke Motion Pictures with Jason Burke. He also has a clothing company called Art of Craft. The company has a certain percentage which is donated to charity on every sale made. Hugh Masakala Network. There are quite a number of musicians of African descent who have risen to become very successful in their own right. Impressively they have become global players who have both local and international appeal and in return, their assets run into millions of dollars. For Hugh Masakela, he was arguably one of the richest musicians in Africa with an estimated net worth of $275 million before his demise in 2018. Deep South African jazz legend who has made his mark in jazz music passed away on Tuesday, January 23, 2018, after a prolonged battle with prostate cancer. He touched many lives with his outstanding work, and this made many fans sad. After the news of his death was announced by family members, heartfelt tribute started pouring in. Below are some of the facts many people don't know about Hugh Masakela. 1. Hugh Masakela mastered the art of playing the trumpet soon after Trevor asked Uncle Sada, the then leader of then Johannesburg native municipal brass band to teach him to play the trumpet. Masakela didn't take long to understand the skill and quickly went ahead to master how to play the trumpet. Soon, his schoolmates then became interested in the art which led to the formation of Huddleston Jazz Band. This was the first South Africa's youth orchestra. 2. Hugh moved to Los Angeles by late 1960s. Here, Hugh Masakela became friends with icons such as David Crosby, Dennis Hopper, and Peter Fund, all of whom were hippie icons. It is also during this period that Summer of Love heat in Los Angeles. 3. He won the Grammy for Best Contemporary Pop Performance, Instrumental in 1968. 4. He opened a fifth Soccer World Cup kickoff concert in South Africa. This opening event was held in Soweto Soccer City. 5. Hugh Masakela opened his own studio and a record labeled House of Masakela. The studio has already released its first music release that is, Friends. Friends is a four CD collection of jazz standards featuring his pianist friend named Larry Willis. 6. In 2011, he received a Lifetime Achievement Award at the World Music Expo Womex. Held in Copenhagen. This was one of the biggest achievements in his musical career. This has also helped propel his fame and grow his music fan base all over the world. In 2012, the South African president Jacob Zuma honored Hugh Masakela with the highest order in South Africa, that is the Order of Ikatmanga. 
Kumasakela used his global reach to help in spreading the word on Africa's heritage restoration.